three free bus lines. We've taken some big, bold actions, but I won't lie, this past winter was pretty intense. Trial by snow, trial by fire, fighters union. I'm getting used to dealing with problems that are expensive, disruptive, and white. I'm talking about snowflakes, snowflakes, I mean snowstorm snowflakes. Now, who's really pushing this? Again, big mega banks have come up with a psychological warfare operation. The Carnegie Endowment, out of all the big tax-free foundations, Bill Gates is one of those groups with his foundation, literally are on record saying for decades, we're going to control the world by divide and conquer racial division. And we're going to teach every major group to hate each other. And then the government and the media will be the referee to control all these groups that are each other's throats and will do all of this in the name of unity, even though we know it'll create total disunity. As he so what happens when half the population isn't racist, but they're stupid enough. They're stupid enough to think that they are racist because no one really hates another human being for the color of their skin. They hate the past and the stuff that, that that race has been documented as doing. Hmm. Elon Musk said earlier, which it does. So you see, you're like, where have I heard that before? How have they controlled prisons in the United States for 200 plus years? How they can race. You have to decide whether you're race or else you're going to be shanked and booty raped by a group of people that aren't your skin color because the owner of the jail has got to keep the entire population of the jail subjugated to the horrors in order to limit the chances, possibility, percentages of a actual revolt between the guards and the prisoners because the prisoners completely outweigh the number of the guards, the state, government, whatever. But what gives them the power is the access and the control over us that has been established over the past, you know, 200 years. Merry Christmas, you know. We controlled them in England. Well, back when the U.S. was majority white, or England was majority white, they would divide you by Catholic and Protestant, huh. and, then, and then the warden would put basically bosses over the inmates who would do most of the policing for them. How you so doing? the inmates would control themselves through gangs. How then you doing? as groups like blacks and Hispanics and Asians became large groups, the prisons began to segregate. I'll tell you how about this going the side. White, or depending on the area like San Francisco, Asian. Three to four groups, and then they would control them through that. And the warden and the jail guards are cool. then dividing and conquering. They now control the prison. So that's how this operates. So just this week, three new shows are coming out. Three new big movies. One of them produced. Don't pay attention to what they say. Don't pay attention to what they scream out on the news station. Just pay attention to what they do. Climate change has been a thing, but Al Gore is still buying mansions, so I don't know how that works. You got... They're trying to claim fraud on Trump's property, which is like... He was hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein. Why didn't y'all go after that? Hmm? Why is it about the value of his house? When the value of everything in America has been skyrocketing for the past four years due to the deflation of the money value and the inflation of the, you know, price index. This doesn't, it doesn't make any sense realistically. This is all just, it's a circus, baby. By Obama, the others produced by the biggest production houses. Leaving the world forever, put out by Obama, Total power outages, race war, white people are the problem. You always hear that. Civil War, 2024, same story. New civil war, the white people are the bad guys. And now this, and of course there'll be hundreds more of these because just like before the 2020 election, there were hundreds of movies and TV shows pushing this. Look at this article on Infowars.com. American Society of Magical Negroes trailer calls white people most dangerous animal on the planet. American Society of Magical Negroes. I don't know about any of y'all. 
but the American Society of Magical Negroes sounds like a bad thing. For any... Any race, just take out Negroes, put magical crackers, magical engines, magical fucking yellow people. I mean, the American Society of Magical Crackers would probably just be the FBI, let's be real. So, you know, they use sidekick, they use mind control, they use drugs to coerce their capturers, which usually doesn't result in the things that they wanted to result in, but either way, blackmail, blackmail, you know what I mean? It ain't no big deal when they're doing it. And they have to magically fly around like Mary Poppins meets Harry Potter <laughs> and use their magic Harry Potter powers to stop the white people doing bad. Again, this is not black people cooking this up. Just like it was the CIA cooked up the crack cocaine and flew it in to South Central. Let's just verify this. In 1996 newspaper by reporter Gary Webb in the San Jose Mercury News claimed that Contra cocaine trafficking played an important role in the creation of the crack cocaine problem during the United States. Drug problem in the United States. This series led to three federal investigations. Hmm. Of which all concluded there was no evidence of a conspiracy by CIA employees, officials, to bring drugs into the United States. The CIA claimed that any story linking it to the 1980 crack explosion was conspiratorial slander against the three letters, right? But the evidence of its complicity is all there in the congressional record. Now, hmm, that doesn't make a lot of sense. The Central Agency, the CIA, released a previously classified 1987 article from its House Journal titled Managing a Nightmare, CIA Public Affairs and the Drug Conspiracy Story. Its author, Nikol Dujmovic, I don't know why we gotta listen to guys named Nicholas Dujmovic, it sounds a little, sounds a little not American, but whatever. Described the controversy as a symptom of escalating public distrust in government. Escalating. Interesting. Right before they, uh, this is right after they killed JFK. Um, with the CIA, is an innocent bystander caught in the crossfire? Sure. In such times, even fantastic allegations about the CIA JFK assassination. Interesting. UFO cover-ups. What? Or importing drugs into America City. One of those has got to be true. You can't tell me that you're suppressing UFOs, you murdered the president, and you're doing you dealing on drugs in America under the guise of a government organization. One of those is true. There's no way they're not all just false facts. Like this is not this is not a joke. The CIA directory says a lot about the American society of the eve of the millennium than it does about the CIA or the media. That doesn't make any sense. We live in a somewhat coarse and emotional time when large numbers of Americans do not adhere to the same standards of logic, evidence, or even civil disclosure discourses of practice by the members of the CIA. But the CIA... MK Ultra. This is what they did. They had a secret CIA program including enforced drug experiments on unwittingly on unwitting humans, mainly U.S. citizens, in hospitals and psychiatric institutions. And we're going to believe the shit that they talk about. The same standards of logic, evidence, or even civil discourse practiced by the members of the CIA. They were giving LSD to each other. That's, that's, that's it. What am I supposed to... They were giving... LSD to each other. Like this is nothing new. What are we supposed to? What are we supposed to think about this? I say, I guess say think what you want. Because the truth is, the truth is a joke. Well, the very same crew of social engineers are running this, just like it's been declassified. What I was told uh, by Public Enemies founder and others 20 years ago, 25 years ago. 
Professor Griffin, and others. The CIA came to all those groups, they said no, and said, do what we tell you, you go along with us, mm -hmm. and sell gangster murder rap, mm. and we'll bankroll you. And they did, and the black population in prison tripled in the next decade. They know exactly what they're doing. Here is a clip. Music is mind control. You are what you listen to. When you're depressed, you listen to sad shit. I know that I didn't really have a good conscious grab on the thoughts that I would, you know, allow to control me in the first 20 or so years of my life, which is hilarious to say, right? I've been alive for 20 years and I've been just living uncognitively, just, you know, experiencing this reality as it is, not enforcing any of my will upon it, which isn't always necessary because, I mean, look what their will is doing. It's it all the infinite life only results in infinite death. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. They're trying to input their consciousness into something, right? A server, a computer, whatever. We're not sure that a consciousness can actually be captured, so we're just we're playing devil's advocate with our being. It's very fascinating how fast we're running, rolling down the hill. The money is all being printed at an exuberant rate. This 80-year-old senile man is calling for wars in every country that exists. And they're still giving him money to run it. It's just it's hilarious what just happened in this farsity of a democracy, you know. There's no, nothing wrong with being an oligarchy. Nothing wrong with being a republic. It's just more like the hubris and the greed that results of these things. The higher-ups just continue to demean their public society as a lesser form of the species when in all reality we are you know, so much more. And it just, it's very interesting. Maybe it's the drugs that they're taking, right? Maybe they're taking things that are abusing their empathy and their... And again, maybe it's the satanic, demonic cult that everyone, you know, talks about. It's fascinating the route that they can go with this. The only thing that I know is that We're not meant to live forever, that's for sure. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, leave some comment, like, you know, let me give me some money. I need to get the IRS a whole bunch of money, you know, and I owe them niggas and shit. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, yeah, have a good one. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Um, hmm. So, anyone, stay woke. What's popping from that, from that song? It was like, no one really was awake at all not as far as I'm concerned like all the people we're just ran by a bunch of people who just want to run it now the reason they want to run it that's neither here nor there right the results of why they want to run it the results are coming closer and closer to fruition I didn't get the vaccine I hope no one watching gets the boosters or had any booster due to the abnormally high amount of adverse effects that are being documented. Um, if you don't believe me, you know, just give me some facts about how people are not getting myocarditis or heart attacks or LeBron's son didn't have a heart attack or DeMar Hamlin didn't die on the field and, you know, kids aren't just in the worst health they could possibly be in as of late. But, um, yeah, thank you. Um, stay healthy, stay happy, and... Well, hell, if you had a phone, you're probably not that free, but, but you know, stay content, because <laughs> we have no idea what's about to be released on that. I'm here for it. Let's see what happens.